Chapter 4 The Hotel for Dogs Andy and Bruce and their new friends cleaned the hotel. They gave food to the dogs and they took them all for walks. At the end of the day, they sat on the floor of the hotel. They were very tired, but the dogs weren't. We can't do this, said Andy. They still want to play, and there's poo everywhere. We clean it up and they poo again. They're dogs, laughed Dave. Bruce went to the table and took some paper. There was a light in his eyes. I've got the answer, he said. He sat down and drew a picture. Then he started to make a machine. He worked quickly. Soon it was ready. Hey, Georgia, he called. Come and play. Georgia loved running after things. He put his foot on the machine and it hit a ball across the room. Georgia ran after the ball. She loved it. Wow, said Dave. That's fantastic. Where did you learn to do that? My dad, Bruce said. Andy hugged him. Bruce smiled and started to plan some more machines for the dogs. Walking machine. There is a bone on the machine. The dogs walk after it. Then they're tired and we're not. Food machine. A train brings food for the dogs when we're not here. Dog games. The dogs watch a film of a road and they think they're in a car. The poo machine. The dogs poo in a special place and the machine washes it away. A clean hotel. The friends worked hard. Soon the different machines were ready. The hotel was clean and the dogs were happy. Then Bruce had another good idea. This hotel is big, he said, and there are a lot of dogs on the streets. The others were excited. Of course, said Heather. We can give them a home. It's the hotel for dogs, cried Bruce. Bruce listened to his radio. On the radio, he could hear the animal control man. Quickly, he phoned Dave in his van. There's a dog on 6th Street, he said. Be quick. When the animal control man arrived at 6th Street, Andy and Heather were there. They started to talk to him. Dave ran behind them and took the dog in his arms. When the animal control man looked for the dog, the dog wasn't there. Okay, Mr. Animal Control Man, come and get me. Come on, what are you waiting for? That's right, now run, I'm faster than you. The animal control man ran after Friday. Andy, Bruce and the others opened the back of his van. All the dogs ran out. The van was empty, the streets were empty and now the pound was empty too. All the dogs were in the hotel. Life was busy for Andy and Bruce now. They didn't have time to think about their problems with Carl and Lois. They were surprised when Bernie wanted to talk to them. I've got something good to tell you, he smiled. I have a lovely family for you. You can leave Carl and Lois. Andy looked at Bruce. This was fantastic. That's great, Bernie. Thank you very much, she hugged him. Bernie laughed. That's okay. You're going to love these people. And it's not very far away. Only three hours. What? Andy stopped smiling. Three hours? 
What about the hotel, the dogs, and their friends? Sorry, Bernie, said Bruce slowly. We've got friends here now. We don't want to move. I don't understand, said Bernie. You hate Carl and Lois. Andy and Bruce walked back to the hotel. They wanted to leave Carl and Lois, but the hotel was their family now.